Gymshark, Women's Best, and Bow and Tee. In my head, all of these three Instagram activewear brands are like kind of on the same level, all making pretty similar stuff. And all three of them recently came out with some new collections. So I was like, why don't we try them all in one video? Not all of the collections are super comparable, but in general, these brands are kind of like at like a mid to high price point, like 50 to $60 for leggings. All of them mainly focus on seamless stuff. I think the Bow and Tee stuff I got today is not seamless, but Bow and Tee has a lot of seamless stuff. They all obviously have a huge Instagram presence. And all three of these brands have really fast shipping. And I've honestly always had like a great customer service experience with all three of these brands when it's come to returns or any like quality issues. I've only had quality issues on Gymshark, but I have ordered a lot more from Gymshark than Bow and Tee and Women's Best. So anyways, today we're trying the Gymshark Mercury collection. And I'm not sure if this collection from Bow and Tee has a name, but I was really feeling like the color block tonal situation. So I wanted to try those too. This video is totally unsponsored about all of this with my own money. If you like super in-depth, honest reviews, make sure to subscribe. My name is Catherine. We post as much as I can. And without further ado, I think we'll get started with the Gymshark. So Gymshark recently launched their Mercury collection. And honestly, by the time I looked on the website, almost all of the biker shorts were gone. That's kind of what I wanted to try. So we ended up getting the leggings in this kind of like purpley blue and then the sports bra and tank in the like light purple. I guess this would just be blue, not purpley blue. And honestly, at first, when I first saw these, I was like, do I even need to try these out? Because it seems like Gymshark literally hasn't changed their style in like three to four years. Because when I was first starting to get into Gymshark, they had like basically really bold, like seamless leggings with like booty contour, like, you know, and they really haven't strayed very far away from that. They just bring out a new seamless legging with a slightly different, like subtle pattern. But to be honest, I'm not like super into seamless leggings much anymore, especially ones that give you just like major unibutt because even though you have this contour, there's just like not a lot of separation going on for the glutes or anything. So I don't know. I'm just amazed that Gymshark is basically still selling the same leggings like three to four years later and people are still buying them. I guess that just means that there's a market for these. Honestly, I don't feel like I've seen that many people at my gym recently in like Gymshark seamless leggings the occasional animal seamless. Anyways, I got a size small, my normal Gymshark size. So these have like a thick seamless waistband. The waistband is definitely darker than the body of the leggings. Kind of feels like the outside should be like on the inside kind of thing. Gymshark logo here, just the regular vinyl press on one. We got a pretty prominent booty contour situation going on in the back here. Hopefully that actually sits where it needs to be. And the legging is definitely like a pretty heavy seamless material. Like this feels like it's going to be decently thick. Definitely not like a summer legging. And the little pattern they have going on is actually kind of like knit into the seamless fabric. So here's a close up. It's actually kind of like a little bit raised on the parts where has the um, detailing so yeah let's try these on okay honestly kind of struggled to get these on a little bit and now in my head we play the game called did I gain weight or did Gymshark sizing just change because I know sizing can be kind of like random between brands or even within a brand it's not my favorite game to play I think I'm gonna go with that these just run a little on the smaller side for Gymshark so I wouldn't say the small is like too small for me they were just like a little bit snug to get on and I did want to pull them up like a little more in the back because I feel like I'm getting some like glute squishing and just not anything super flattering going on back here. I think this is just the last time that I'm buying any sort of Gymshark seamless legging because they're all the same. I'm just like so bored of them and I don't really feel like this is a super flattering legging. This is about a mid rise, maybe mid to high rise. I did pull them up a little bit. Pretty compressive overall about like a high compression. I don't know if it's because these are feeling a little bit small for me, but I feel like I'm getting a little bit excessive um, hugging in this region just because there wasn't much I could do about the fabric being a little bit tight. So definitely some single camel situation. They're about a seven eighths of length. All of Gymshark leggings are about the same. And I've only worn these for a couple minutes and I can already tell you, these are the kind of seamless that gets a little bit itchy over time. So it's not like a soft seamless fabric, definitely one of the itchy ones, which is another reason I'm not a huge seamless legging person. We have the contour detail that kind of goes down front of the quads here under the glutes. It does sit under my glutes. Overall, I feel like I am getting a good amount of unibut. I'm not really gonna give these a good ranking on the booty scale. Like honestly, maybe even a medium low on the booty scale. I don't know, someone comment down below. I just don't feel like these are doing a lot. They're kind of dipping down a little bit in the back. You will probably get pretty good cellulite -like coverage with these because of this material is pretty thick and knit. And you also have this kind of like distraction going on with the pattern. So that is a plus. Definitely not a summer legging. These are pretty thick. They'd probably be pretty squat proof because material's so thick. But yeah, I'm just really not a fan of these. Like my number one Gymshark seamless legging is probably the lightweight seamless. 
and their camo was like my first like ever favorite legging from them. But these are just definitely not up there with like a top Gymshark seamless legging. Like even if I liked seamless leggings, these still wouldn't be like a top one for me. So I couldn't get a full matching set. So I got the Mercury sports bra in the light purple color. It's just a very basic sports bra, just like simple in the front, racer back style in the back, same seamless material. And here's the sports bra. It's pretty true to size, maybe runs a little bit small as well. Uh, it's definitely squishing me in some ways. So not like the most large cup size friendly, getting a little bit side boob going on. Definitely a good amount of cleavage. Might've been able to size up in this one, but the band doesn't feel like super tight. So I'm not sure. Support is about a medium, nothing crazy, but the material is pretty thick and compressive. Uh, I just, you know, I don't get super excited about straight up seamless racerback sports bras anymore. And the little print going on is also not like winning me over much for the sports bra. So yeah, I'm just not totally in love with this collection. Let's just try on the tank top and then that'll be it for this one. And then they also have a crop tank. This doesn't have a built-in bra or anything. I think it's just kind of meant to be worn over the sports bra. I do always like that Gymshark comes out with like kind of like a crop tank or even a full length tank in all of the collections because when I was first starting to shop on Gymshark, I wasn't comfortable just wearing wearing a sports bra on the gym. So I really liked their crop tanks. So yeah, we have this one and just like a little open cutout in the back. And this is the same seamless material, but it feels a little bit thinner than the leggings. So, all right, and here's the little crop tank. I actually kind of like the shape of this one. I feel like it hits at a pretty good place for me. If these leggings were like a little more high rise or maybe my torso wasn't as long, you probably wouldn't show any skin, but it kind of adds like a second layer for a little more hold on the sports bra end if you're gonna wear the sports bra with it. I kind of don't love how the cutout is just filled out by the sports bra. Like if you were to wear the matching sports bra with the tank, that's not my favorite. The small is definitely snug on this one, but if you're not looking for a skin tight fit, I would definitely size up. Okay, anyone else who's tried the Gymshark Mercury collection, did it run a little smaller or are these just fitting me a little tighter than usual? It's just weird. Cause I feel like I just tried the Gymshark Animal collection not long ago and those were like a lot stretchier and I felt like I had more space. These ones I don't feel like I have a lot of space. And this isn't part of the Mercury collection, but when I was looking on the like new releases on Gymshark's website, I saw these speed shorts and I just thought they looked like better than a lot of the Gymshark flowy shorts I've tried in the past. And I've kind of been into flowy shorts recently. So I thought I would give them a try. They have a little mesh underwear lining on the inside. I don't absolutely love underwear shaped lining because it gives you automatic underwear lines. So not like super pumped about that. Um, it even has like a little like cotton gusset thing. So you could probably just not wear underwear with these. Kind of a performance windbreaker material on the outside, but it's not super like loud and noisy and has just like a little bit of stretch to it. Then it has like a seamless waistband with a little drawstring on the inside, which is good because sometimes waistbands on flowy shorts like this can be pretty big. So I don't know, I thought these looked like pretty good. So let's try these on. Okay, so these were like a little bit snug to get on, but I actually kind of like them. The material is just a raw cut edge on the bottom. I feel like these are pretty different than most of my flowy shorts because they basically have like a legging waistband. There is like a band at the top um, other than the actual like um, drawstring and it was a little snug to get on. So I'd say if you're in between, I'd size up, but I feel like these fit me really well without having to tighten the waistband. They're just like slightly flowy. Like I wouldn't say they're like, too poofy or anything. I don't love having the like built-in underwear just because I feel like it definitely gives you an underwear line. And I also feel like these are like a decent length. Like I don't feel like I'm gonna be flashing anyone or anything. And I feel like you could work out in these and wear them for lounge. So I actually am a fan of these. Nice job, Gymshark. Here's a better look at the inside. They definitely are like an underwear lining, not like a short lining. So you're not gonna have a risk of like seeing them in case you wanted to see them inside out. This is what they look like. It kind of gives you a better idea of the inner lining. So next, let's go for Bow and T. And just before I looked on their website for the collection I bought for this review, I was like, Ugh, like Bow and T has kind of been boring me lately. Like so much of their like seamless stuff is just like so basic and like not exciting. And then I go on the website and I see this little color block collection and I was like, take it all back because this is actually really cute. And they're releasing like a new like solar collection coming up, which kind of looks like the Alpha Light Amplifies. They're like seamless leggings with a little scrunch. And I'm kind of like, I kind of want to try that. So, so my current thoughts about Bow and T are kind of 
being reshaped. I mean, unless obviously this doesn't go very well today. So first I got the Revive leggings in green and I just picked these up and they're actually like really heavy. And I was kind of expecting something maybe a little more summery lightweight, but this fabric is really thick. So maybe the leggings aren't exactly the move, but I really loved this like tonal, like color block green situation. I love mint green. I love a nice like deeper forest green. So together I was like, absolutely we're going for this they also had a really cute like light pink dark pink combination and blues and tans so i don't know i just really liked the color blocking and i noticed that these were cross waist leggings i think these also come in bike shorts but these are the revive leggings and they were 54 dollars. so i think they're a little cheaper than the women's best ones the waistband is a ribbed material it does have a band at the top which isn't super exciting it's a cross waist there is a front seam also not exciting it has this raised like silicone look Logo, which I feel like could like, I don't know, fold a little weirdly. I'd rather like something a little more subtle than that. Got a little crotch gusset. It also has a little ribbed paneling down the side. That's the same color as the body, but it is the same ribbed material as the waistband. Oh yeah, and you can see the paneling in the back too. So these are like a workout for me to like keep up right now. I did work out my arms today and you know, they're pretty tired and this is really heavy actually, so. Okay, I don't know why, but they decided to make these leggings like double thickness. Like there are, like I'm holding the outside layer of the fabric there's a whole nother layer of fabric in here these feel like a fleece lined winter legging to me right now and just really was not expecting that the cross waist kind of reminds me of the alpha elite surface power leggings just because they kind of go up on the sides actually these are definitely higher in the back than the alpha elite ones but definitely dip down in the front so we're not getting super high rise we're getting like a mid to high this is that logo I was talking about before, like kind of the thick silicone. Not the best logo. I feel like it kind of pulls the fabric a little bit. We do have a front seam and it could definitely cause some problems. So I um, kind of wish they did away with the front seam here. We have the ribbed panel detailing down the side. And I feel like I have quite a few little like fuzzy string details on the side of that. So that's not like excellent. And I don't know, I feel like I'm getting major pancake butt because these are double thickness and it's just completely squishing me down. Like you have no opportunity of like, situating this to be like, you know, go up your butt a little bit and be a little more flattering. Guys, this color block collection, it had potential. I really wanted to like it, but I don't know why they would make double thickness fabrics. Like I have a lot of leggings, a lot of leggings, and I could name maybe two. No, really only one that is double thickness. Like that's how rare I see a double thickness legging. So these must, these must have been like really thin or something, like really sheer without the double thickness. I just do not, I do not like it. I also feel like the cross waist isn't like the most flattering and you do have the band at the top. So these were kind of a bummer. Still gonna give Bone T another try though for their solar collection, the scrunch one, because I still have hope for that. But these, to know. I also got the Refresh crop top in green. I feel like Bow and T just loves a strappy sports bra. So I hate, I hate when they have these like giant tags and they don't accept returns without the giant tags. Okay. So the outside of this is a ribbed material. The inside is more of a performance material. And I don't know, I'm hoping this works for me. It looks like we have two layers of possible coverage for the girls and all of the straps are adjustable. So I don't know, I thought this was a cute little like cutout style. So let's try it on. It's got a little elastic on the bottom. It's pretty soft because it's made of like the ribbed material. Um, this inner sports bra, as you can see, like just has barely any coverage. So if I weren't to have this outer like kind of layer here, we might have some like nip slip issues. So um, maybe that was part of it. They were like, oh, it doesn't matter if this inner layer has a lot of coverage because we have this layer on top. And I feel like overall, it's not like Cleavage City or anything. We definitely do have this little, this little peekaboo detail. Let me know in the comments down below. Is this cute? Is it, does it look weird? I can't really tell. Um, I do like how all of the straps are adjustable. Um, oh gosh, are they all twisted? So all the straps are adjustable. They are pretty thin. So we might get some cutting in to the neck depending on how tight you make them. Good side boob coverage because of this top layer here comes out pretty far to the side. It's like a light support. So it's not really like a super high impact gym bra. I think it's more like for looks 
than for gym. I don't hate it, but it's not the most functional for me. And I was going to get the bike shorts, but then I saw these kind of like double layer, like lounge type flowy shorts. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna try these instead because the bike shorts are just gonna be like the leggings except shorter. So these are the healthy shorts in green. And I kind of thought they might be a little more athletic material, but they're really more of like a sweatpant type short. So definitely a lounge short. Fortunately, they don't have a drawstring or anything. So we're kind of relying on this elastic waist just fitting me perfectly. As you can see, it is like kind of like a thick sweatpant material. And then the side kind of like flaps open and you have like a more snug short lining on the inside. And this one also feels like kind of cottony to me. Yeah, both the shell and the lining are cotton elastane blends. So kind of sweatpant material, but I just thought these were fun. Let's try it on. Okay, I'm like semi disappointed in the shorts. I don't know, I just kind of wanted them to be more of like a performance material style short, like the Gymshark Speed shorts I just tried. And I'm okay with a sweat short, but I just feel like this inner short, I feel like I have little pills on it already. I wasn't looking for like a baggy cotton short, you know, like this is a size small and I just feel like we're definitely getting, yeah, look at all this bagginess. Like it just, it's not, it's not fitting super well. And I don't think that the sizing is the issue. I just don't really like just like cotton. Like these kind of feel like Hanes to me. And because this is like such like a thick cotton material, I'm not getting like the flow that I would have wanted out of like a split side short like this. I feel like it just kind of like is a little bit stiff. Yeah, I don't know. Like they're comfy for lounge shorts. Like would I wear them? Maybe, but I just feel like I'm not loving how these are looking. Like they look a little awkward. Like they're gonna be forever kind of wrinkled and just a little bit frumpy. But if you're looking for a sweat short, like they're fine. I just kind of wanted more of a performance. And lastly, I got the Hold collection from Women's Best. And I don't know, I saw like a lot of people on Instagram wearing these and I just wanted to try them myself because I haven't tried Women's Best in like a long time since like their classic like power and I think energy seamless. I feel like every brand calls something an energy seamless. But this looked a little bit different. It's like kind of seamless, but it's almost like OG Gymshark like fit leggings with like this like thick kind of elastic waistband, which first of all, I liked how they made their women's best logo not contrast in color. Like it's all just orange and like you can read women's best, but it's not like super in your face. But I do feel like an elastic waistband like this is really hard to get right because if it's too tight, it squishes you and like instantly makes like muffin top. But if it's too loose, then it gapes. So these have to fit like perfectly. So it's honestly very hard for these to be flattering. So I was going to get all smalls, but they were sold out of the orange small shorts. So I went with a medium. So we can kind of see the difference of the waistband between the medium shorts and I got the leggings in a small. So these are the hold cycling shorts, size medium. And I'm kind of liking their performance material on the bottom here. It feels like really soft and it's not shiny at all, but it's still a performance. Okay, it's a polyamid elastane blend for the shorts. And the front has no front seam. The back there is a seam and they just kind of have some little like stitching panel detailing. Here's the waistband up close. It is just like a thick elastic. Hopefully these are going to be like thick enough. These are definitely the most lightweight items we're trying today. Okay, hopefully I'm not speaking a little too soon, but like I like these shorts. Like unfortunately I did have to get a medium because they didn't have any smalls and we're getting a little bit of gaping in the waistband, but it's honestly not horrible, but I kind of like these. They're a nice biker length. Um, I wonder what length they are. This is going to be a very rough estimate because we're doing it on me. Okay, they're about a nine inch inseam. I really like the material. It's really lightweight and it's sleek, but a little bit soft. No front seam on these and you're not gonna get any sort of lower tummy control on this style of a bike short because really you're only getting compression in the small waistband area. The rest of the short is about like a medium compression and I'm just not really getting compressed in the lower tummy area. So that's a negative if you're looking for lower tummy control. I really like the little like paneling detail. I feel like that's fun. And you know, they're not doing anything crazy for the glutes, but I'm definitely not being squished down. So we'll just do like a solid medium on the booty scale. Also on the thighs, like I am getting a little bit of compression at the bottom of the shorts. You can kind of see a little bit of squishing in, but since they're more of a nine inch inseam, they go kind of beyond the bulk of my thighs. So I'm not bothered by a little compression down here. I feel like that's a good spot to have some and they're definitely not going to go anywhere. So yeah, I feel like these are nice, like little performance bike shorts. I like the little detailing and the fabric is pretty nice. So let's try on the leggings. I also got the leggings in a size small, like I said, so we can compare the sizing. So these are going to be very similar to the bike shorts, just 
obviously in legging form. We've got a little crotch gusset here and I feel like the waist is going to fit a little bit better on the smalls for me. Okay, so we're definitely getting more compression in the small leggings. I kind of thought it would be mostly a difference in the waistband, but I feel like the main difference between the small and the medium is honestly how they're fitting like in like my glutes. Like I definitely feel like I'm a little more squished down in the small leggings here, but the waistband actually fits perfectly in the smalls. I don't feel like it's cutting into me and I'm also not getting any gaping. Um, I feel like these could have maybe even benefited from like a, one of those little like silicone linings to kind of like keep this part up, but I don't think it's gonna have an issue. I also mentioned earlier something about these being kind of similar to like the original like Gymshark fit leggings, like flex leggings style with like this waistband. But I will say these are like a true high rise without me pulling them up. The Gymshark flex and fit leggings were definitely like a low rise on me. So personally, I find a high rise much more flattering. These definitely have a lot more space, but from like the gusset to the waistband. High compression in the smalls here. I still really like this contour detailing from the back all the way down the leg kind of ends here. I am getting a seven eighths. I feel like sometimes women's best has two lengths or that might've been honor active. I feel like this material is going to be very sweat friendly, definitely a performance material, like super sleek. You could definitely do like running in these leggings. And I also feel like they're gonna stay up really well because of this waistband. A little crotch gusset in here. I feel like I noticed it a little more than the bike shorts, but not a big deal. I don't know if these are going to be the most cellulite friendly because they are pretty thin. But yeah, I actually feel like I kind of liked this style. It's not my usual style, but I like it a little more than like a seamless legging. Maybe it's just cause I like the fabric. Yeah, again, not really gonna get lower tummy control either. And it's kind of hard to find underwear lines in these too, because like there's so much just like empty space. Yeah, not a big deal, just wanted to note. And I forgot, a big reason I wanted to try this collection was because the sports bras looked like really supportive on this. Like rarely do you see an Instagram activewear brand have molded cup pads and not like removable cups. And the sports bra has like fully molded cup padding region, like no removable cups, literally fully molded into the bra and like is like retaining its shape. So usually this gives a lot of support and then you can never have the cup pads like crinkle up. They also have this interesting like kind of I don't know, textured swirl detailing on the inside. Not really sure what that's supposed to do. Um, I am like, slightly concerned with this just coming in size, like small, medium, large type of thing. They have a more expansive size range than that, but no like cup sizes. Like this is just a small. I got the small so it could fit me in the rib cage, but in terms of cup space, I hope it's enough. And the straps are just made of the same thick, like elastic material. They are adjustable. And the back actually has a three hook closure, kind of like a normal bra. This one, I feel like it's gonna be pretty supportive. Side note, I do have a loose string here that I will have to cut off. So my concerning about the sizing with the bra seems to come to fruition here. It's kind of like those Gymshark training bras I tried a while back, the ones that had the molded cups that only came in like small, medium, large sizing. They just didn't quite have enough room in the cups for me. Could I wear this? Totally. Like, I don't feel like this is horrible. I'm not like super uncomfortable. It just doesn't fit me perfectly. But I think if you're like a C to D cup, like this would be a really good sports bra for you. I think you could just kind of tell where the cup pad like outline is and that I kind of spill out of it. Like it ends like right here and I feel like I still have some boob going out to the sides here. So, and I'm also definitely pushed up a lot and there's a little like, oh, just like a little bit of spillage going on. But I also don't really think I could go to the medium because I'm only in like the middle clasp here and you really need the support of the band to have a supportive sports bra. So the straps are nice and thick. I did get concerned because of the elastic. Sometimes these can be kind of irritating, but because they're pretty thick, I feel like it's not gonna like cut into you because it's too thick for that. I'm kind of bummed because this is actually a really comfy sports bra. Like it's soft, like I like the little like molded cup pad areas. The straps are adjustable. I did have to tighten them a little bit and it was a little hard to clasp this myself, to be honest. Um, I'm the kind of person who puts on their bra like backwards and flips it around because I never learned to do it the other way and this is the easiest way for me. So having to do it behind my back is a little bit of a challenge. So I think I only got like two of the hooks done. But yeah, overall, I feel like it's a good sports bra, just not for like super large cup sizes. Women's best if you're watching this. Maybe come out with like small A to C and then a small D plus, that would be excellent for this sports bra because it has the potential for a lot of support. Like I feel like I'm getting medium, maybe medium to high support in this if it were to fit like perfectly. Okay guys, that's it for the video. To be honest, I came into this review thinking the Bowen T stuff would be my favorite, but 
I don't know, I was a little, it fell a little short. The Women's Best collection was really nice though. The Gymshark stuff is just like a little bit boring for me, but the speed shorts were nice. If you guys have any other brands or collections you'd like me to review coming up, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you next time. Bye!